Hey guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. I hope everyone of you is doing good. So before we start discussing today's topic, let me request you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button here. Once you click on it, you will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner. Post you subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to press the bell icon and click on all. You will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner so that whenever I upload a video, you get the notification about the same without any messes. Also, I would to request you all to subscribe to my telegram channel with the name HYIT intraday calls because I share a lot of things over there and it might be helpful to you in some way or the other all right so before we start with today's discussion please allow me to mention about an offer that will reduce your capital requirements for trading various segments like the NSC futures and the MCX futures Okay, talking about the NSE features, you can trade contracts like Nifty, Bank Nifty, SGX Nifty, etc. with just 6,000 rupees for one lot. Whereas in MCX, you can trade one lot of crude oil, copper, natural gas, etc. for just 4,000 to 6,000 rupees. Okay, for gold and silver, it will cost you around 10,000 rupees per lot. And not only this, you will be happily surprised when you get to know the other features that are being offered. I can't give you all the details here as there are many, but I will surely share all the details post you get in touch with me. In today's scenario, if you want to trade one lot of crude oil, you need to have a minimum of 1.6 lakhs as your capital. That is 1 lakh 60,000. Similarly, for Nifty, for just one lot, you need to have at least 1 lakh as your capital. Now replace 1.6 lakhs with 4,000 to 6,000 rupees and 1 lakh with 6,000 rupees. It does make a lot of difference to a retail trader like you and me, right? So that's the help I want to extend or offer. And if you are interested, then you can get in touch with me on the details that are being shown on the screen and we can take it forward. All right, so if a stock is in a very strong uptrend, it really becomes difficult for a trader to spot the exact level when the stock will reverse, right? Because it might be the case that the stock starts a small down move and you initiate a sell trade thinking that the stock has really gone too high, so it's time to come down, but then the stock again starts moving up and hits your stop loss. So it becomes very important to know whether the reversal is a valid reversal or not. And only if it is a valid reversal, we apply the reversal strategy to trade and take out our profits. Okay. Now, since we are already talking about the betrayal that the stock just gave us, there is a very important psychological point that needs to be addressed here. And that point is, no matter how high or how low the stock goes, we should not anticipate the things based on how high or low the stock has moved. Okay, it absolutely depends on the stock, how high or how low it wants to go. And we as traders should not have any interference on that. Okay, the best thing that we traders should be doing is a good technical analysis. Okay, and this is exactly why I'm making this video. Okay, so moving on, if you just heard what I said sometime before, then you will be able to make out that there are two parts of this particular strategy. The first part is to confirm that the reversal is indeed a valid reversal. And the second part is to initiate the trade. Okay, so let's take it up one after the other. So let's talk about the reversal first because that would be the most important thing to confirm even before we take up the trade. Okay, so what if a stock is in a very strong uptrend? Obviously, you will get to see a lot many number of green candles, right? Combined with some red candles as well, right? Let's, let's get on to the chart, okay? And then I will be able to explain it further. Just a moment. Let me bring in the chart here. All right, so this is the chart. Okay, now what I was saying was if the stock, as you can see here, if it is in a very strong uptrend, as you can see here, it's, it, it moved from around 10,700 to around 11,700, a thousand rupees move continuous in, uh, continuously in the upward uh, direction. 
so we can tell that it is uh, it is in a very strong uptrend right so when when a particular stock is in a very strong uptrend obviously we will see a lot many number of green candles and those green candles will also be accompanied by some small uh, red candles as well okay now the red candles will be formed when the stock makes higher lows okay now what i mean to say here is the stock is moving up like this and then it comes down and it forms the red candles now why the red candles are being formed is because it has to make a higher low right it came down with some red candles so it is making a higher low here it came down with some red candles so it is making a higher low here again it came down with some red candles it is making a higher low here right so if a stock is moving up we know how to find whether it is a strong uptrend or not it has to make higher highs and higher lows okay so as i always say it's always a good idea to have multiple confirmations to confirm a particular thing okay now in this case we are trying to confirm that the reversal is actually a valid reversal so here also we will take the help of multiple confirmations to confirm that thing okay so we know that the stock is in a very strong uptrend if it has been making higher highs and higher lows but as you can see on the chart here let me bring in the pencil when these two red candles were formed okay when these two red candles were formed uh well can you make the statement that it is a retracement and uh, since the stock has already moved around 700 or 800 points it should start falling from here can you make that statement i'm not sure right the same happens here as well we get three red candles continuously for three days so does it mean that the stock will start falling from here i don't know right similarly here also we got two red candles in fact three red candles for continuously three consecutive days so does it mean that it will start falling from here we don't know right guys just a moment i'm sorry that was an alarm set i'm not sure what alarm was that i'm really sorry about it okay so we're not sure by seeing these uh, red candles being formed for continuously two to three days or three to four days we really cannot say whether uh, the stock has reached a peak from where it should fall right so we cannot say that now this is exactly what we need to address here right so now in order so right now Point number one is we know that the stock is in a strong uptrend. Now, what I want to do here is I want to bring in a trend line. Okay, let's bring in a trend line here. So a trend line has to be drawn touching at least two points. This is how you draw a trend line, right? And as you can see here, when the stock was moving up, it came down, took a support at the trend line again moved up came down took a support at the trend line moved up came down took a support at the trend line moved up came down and this time it breached the trend line and closed below it now i hope you are getting the importance of drawing a trend line here the trend line will work as a very important confirmation that the stock might stop the upward movement and will start the downward movement okay so since we have bring in the trend line that will help us in finalizing if the reversal is a valid reversal or not as you can see here okay so unless and until the candlestick closes below the trend line we will not consider it to be a valid reversal so the candlestick has to close below the trend line in order for us to believe that this is a valid reversal so did the candlestick close below the trend line let me delete this did the candlestick close of course it closed below the trend line this is the candlestick which closed below the trend line right now moving on now this is just one part of it okay there is more to go because just because it closed below the trend line it does not guarantee that the prices will not go up further it can very well go up further 
right? So it might be the case that it came down, this particular candlestick closed below the trend line and it again started moving up. It's nothing new. It happens all the time in the market, right? So just because the candlestick closed below the trend line, it does not guarantee that the stock will start falling. It is just the first pointer wherein we can get ready that we, we can get ready to say that, okay, now this is the first pointer which marks the point that the stock might start falling down. Might start. It will not start, okay? We are still not sure as of now. Okay, so that is the first pointer when we see that the candlestick is closing below the trend line. Okay, now, so we need to confirm that the prices will not go up further. That is our second job. Okay, and how do we confirm that? We confirm that by waiting for the prices to go up again face a resistance at the trend line and then fall again. Okay, now this is the thing that I'm talking about. So the prices are falling, right? This candle is the one which breached the trend line and closed below it and then we get some more red candles. This is not the point where you should initiate a sell trade. As I said, you need to wait for the stock to again move up. It has to move up further and then it has to face a resistance. So here it has moved up. So basically it came down. Then it again started moving up like this. Right. And here it faced a resistance and then again it started falling down. So this is the move that I'm talking about. Okay. This is another confirmation that will that, that will make our technical analysis more stronger that this script or this stock or this indice has all the chances to come down further because it is facing a resistance here. Now, there are two parts of it. Okay, let me delete this. Now, there are two parts of it. One trader will initiate a sell trade at this point. Why will he initiate a sell trade at this point? Because trend line was breached. Stock came down, went up, faced a resistance here, and then again it fell. So this red candle, before you initiate a sell trade, you need to wait for this red candle to close. Okay? Only after this red candle closes, you initiate a sell trade at this point. So this will be your entry. That is trader number one. There will be another trader who will wait for further confirmation. So the script came down, went up, faced a resistance here, came down again, again went up and faced a resistance here again and then it started falling. This is scenario number two guys. So here we are kind of getting a more strong confirmation because we have a double top being formed here, right? So this is a double top. This is a double top. You remember the rules for the double top, right? It does not have to be like this. Okay, the tops have should not be matching exactly. This can also be considered as a double top. And this can also be considered as a double top. Okay, now getting back to the topic. The second trader waits for this confirmation, for an additional confirmation. And the second trader, well, when will he initiate the sell trade? He will initiate the sell trade after this closure, after this red candle's closure. Undoubtedly, he is missing some moves here, right? Undoubtedly, he is missing the move from here to here. But what is the big deal? He is waiting for the right confirmation to be occurring on the charts. And that is what is patience. That is what is perfect technical analysis. So in this case, both the traders are right. The trader who initiates a trade at this level and also the trader who initiates a trade at this level. Both of them are right because they are following the right technical analysis. Okay, so this kind of confirmations have to be waited for and only after you get these kind of confirmations, you go ahead and initiate the trade. Okay, now let's talk about the 
uh, let me uh, let me just uh, see if I'm missing on anything. Uh, no, yeah, we are good. Okay, so once these things happen on the chart, what we see, what we will have, is a valid reversal. Okay, that is confirmed by multiple things. First is the breach of the trend line in the downward direction. Okay, and the second is the rejection that the price faces when it retests the trend line. Okay, now either it can go till the trend line or it might retest just below the trend line. We have to have that exclusion for sure. Okay, so uh, not all the time in the live market you will see the exact things happening that we discuss in the theory. Okay, there is always something different that happens on the charts. Okay, so these were the two confirmations based on which we finalize that, okay, the price has finally reversed. It is not going to go up any further and it is time for the prices to fall and it is time for the trader to initiate a sell trade. Okay, so now it's time for you to make a trade where you can decide the entry, the exit and the stop loss. So let me quickly uh, get on uh, to that particular point. So as I said, two scenarios here. One trader will initiate a sell trade here. So if you are among those traders, this will be your entry point. Stop loss will be just above the swing high. This is a swing high, right? So place the stop loss just above the swing high and target. As you know, I normally aim for one is to one. So you can go for anywhere like this. Okay, this might be a target. So this is your entry. This is your stop loss. And this is your target. That is for trader number one. For trader number two, the guy who is taking a sell trade at this level, they can put the stop loss here. Again, this is a swing high, right? So your stop loss will be just above the swing high. This will be your entry. And again, your target will be somewhere here. One is to one. Right? So this is, these are the levels for the second type of trader. Okay? So I hope you are clear on this. Okay? So, till now, whatever we have discussed about this particular strategy is based on pure price, uh, price action. Right? Now, let's add another confirmation to it. Okay? Now, to top this up, you can also bring in a technical to support this particular reversal. Okay, now the technical might be an indicator or an oscillator that acts as a strong resistance. Okay, like for example, let's bring in a 20 exponential moving average. Okay, a 20 EMA. Let me go ahead and draw it, just a moment. Go to indicators, go to technicals, and go for moving average exponential. And we go to the settings here. Change it to 20. Make it a bit brighter. And thicker. And here we have exponential moving average 20. So what's happening on the chart? Let's go ahead and discuss. So for the first trader who is taking a trade here at this point, he has multiple confirmations, right? First confirmation is the trend line has been breached in the downward direction and the candlestick has closed below it. Second confirmation is it tried moving up, faced a resistance here and came down. And post this red candle was closed, he initiated a sell trade at this point. Now, when you add an EMA, that also adds on to the confirmation because this candlestick is closing below the EMA as well. So this point is a perfect point to take a sell trade. That is for trader number one. For trader number two, he initiates a sell trade at this point, right? So what are the confirmations? First confirmation is again, trend line breach. The second confirmation is the resistance that has been faced here and here. A double top was formed and the third confirmation again comes to the EMA wherein this candlestick has closed below the 20 EMA. 
So that becomes his another confirmation and he goes ahead and initiates his trade at this point. Okay, so this is an added confirmation that you should be using. Now, for this video, I have taken the example of 20 EMA. See which technical works nicely for you. Pick up a technical on which you have been working for a long, long time. Okay, take the help of those kind of technicals. It might be an indicator, it might be an oscillator, anything, anything that works fine for you. Just make sure that it should act as a strong resistance or a strong support if you are trying to take up a buy trade. Now, in this case, we are taking up a sell trade. So we are looking out for a technical which acts as a strong resistance. Okay, so this would be the reversal strategy, guys. Okay, this would be the reversal strategy that I wanted to share with you guys. And please feel free to add on any technicals that you see to be working most strongly on this setup. Yeah, so basically I'm trying to lay, uh, sorry, I'm trying to lay a strong foundation for you wherein you get to know about the things that goes on inside the mind of a trader. How exactly a trader thinks and then implements those thoughts on the charts. Yeah, so you need to get indulged 100% and only then things will start working for you. Okay, so that's it from my end guys and for the guys who have not watched my previous video, I have put in the video card on the top right corner of the video, the eye symbol that you see there, you can click on it and watch my previous video and as always would request you all to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also please do not miss the ending of this video as you will get some more information about HYIT that might be helpful to you in some way or the other and please feel free to ask your questions or queries if any in the comment section and I will surely reply back to them and also please do not forget to like this video if you liked it okay so that's all from my end and i'll see you all later hope you all will stick back happy trading and take care of yourselves Bye bye